Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the dash geometry and I guess where it is in relation to the seat. So, I pretty much guesstimated where the dash was, but um, I was going to build it up off here. But it's a bit... Um, it's a bit of the wrong height and the wrong shape, so this angle here needs to come up a bit bit more steep which brings the front of the dash out a bit closer out here and I was going to build this up but um, needs to be a bit higher so pretty lucky that I've got access to a Polaris Ranger sitting around at work so I've taken some measurements just off the the front of the seat edge and all that sort of stuff so that's what I'm going to be working off so yeah today's episode a little bit of rework I guess which happens with every build be cutting this apart and remodeling it slightly and um, starting to form up where the dash would be and then probably uh, yeah next time I'll be looking at making the roll cage to go over the top so yeah let's get into it
Hey guys, just a quick tip on pipe benders, so you don't waste your time. So first I bought the large hydraulic pipe bender, this big one here. So it's got dies that do up to two inch, and then it's got a little die that goes down to um, half inch, little half inch die. So I thought I could get away with that bending bending this smaller tube. So that's a 20 nominal bore tube. That's the second one actually. So because it just pushes up and folds in the middle, it uh, kinks. So obviously that's not desirable. So then I watched the YouTube videos and they said pack it with sand. So I got some sand from um, Bunnings, packed it, hammered it down as hard as I could. Slightly better, but still rubbish so I uh, yeah, decided to order a manual bender so I got uh, this big kit online so this one does 3 8 so tiny stuff all the way up to 7 8 which is in there now change that roller out and it comes with a matching matching die there with the right size anchor on the end there. Obviously there's, there's all different dies, that's your 3.8 die with 3.8 roller. Um, goes all the way up in the round. The big one there I'm using now, 7 8 And then it also does two different sizes of square tube, which has matching square rollers. Not something I'm gonna use at the moment, but maybe in the future. And yeah, so this one's much better. Anchors your tube in here, put the tip of it in there, and then Obviously have this roller back here and then you can just work your way around the tube. Uh, I think it says it only does up to about a 1.5 mil wall thickness but well, uh, this shit's thicker than that. So um, if you've got a long piece of tube sticking out the end you just push the tube as well as well as pull on that, that cheetah bar. Just work your way around. If you need to throw some heat into it just get a blowtorch, throw some heat into it that helps a bit. So uh, yeah with that I managed to bend these radiuses here, so nice bend, no kinks, and that's uh, 15 nominal bore pipe, so pretty thick wall compared to tube. But yeah, that's started to make the, um, what'll be, I guess the front end and then possibly a front rack off here, so there's a bit of a sneak peek. Next video I might cover off the big tube I've done in the big bender, so that's two inch Oh, I think it's two inch tube. Sneak peek of the cage and the steering, so. So this kit's about 320 uh, Australian. I'll drop a link um, in the description. If you want to look at one of those, I wouldn't waste your time. If you've got the money, buy a big JD Square Bender or something flash, but I'm all about doing the uh, doing the job for as cheap as I can. Uh, the big bender, I think, was a little bit over 200, so two benders for, for 500 bucks. So, can I play with that? That's it for another weekend on the build, guys. Uh, next weekend, we might start getting into the roll cage. Um, so, yeah, if you got any feedback, drop a comment. If you like the content, subscribe, like the video. And, yeah, see you in the next one.